What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We got the big one today. We got Led Zeppelin Stairway to Heaven part two because we got live what? today. So excited to check this out. This is off the recommendations from you guys for the live version. That's a great one at Madison, Madison Square Garden. It's unfortunately not gonna be the first time we've heard uh, Stairway to Heaven live because we did the heart tribute to yeah, Stairway to Heaven. It was so Stairway good. I mean, it was different. It was good, but it was different. It's their own, they had their own little flair on it a little bit. Yeah, so the reason why we did that one first is because you guys kept pressuring us. <laughs> Bear pressure. <laughs> You're like, do the heart one, do the heart one. So we did the heart one, but now we get to see the originals. We get to see Led Zeppelin in their prime doing Stairway to Heaven at Madison Square Garden. So I'm excited to check that out. We see yeah. the double neck guitar here already on the on the frame, so that's pretty cool. And uh, you know, I, I mean, this is gonna be our first uh, live performance from Led Zeppelin. Yeah, I'm excited. You know, there's a few out there now. We've done a few tracks, right? We've done the Immigrant Song. We've yeah. done. Um, whole lot of love, stairway to heaven, black dog. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's a few um, few ones that we could do live next as well. Black dog, I think you guys are saying is another great one from this concert. But I'm um, really excited to check out Led Zeppelin live. Yeah, I am too. All right, let's, let's get it going.
If we all follow through, then the Bible will lead us to reason. So it's definitely very, very different from yeah. the original that we did, right? Like he's obviously adding way more flair to his vocal and just the way he's um, performing the his delivery. The, yeah, and um, kind of just more free, free flowing with it. Yeah, just feeling it. And- yeah, and the the mix is is a little bit different as well. Like the I remember when we listened to the original, the guitar sound was very very prominent. I would say I feel like the strings, like when we were doing it, like you could really hear that. Whereas yeah, I feel like you can't as much. Yeah, I mean that's gonna happen in some of the performance yeah. aspects, right? Um, I think his vocal is is actually standing up much more, and you're much more focused on him as a performer yes. and the lead in this. So I agree. Uh, you know that's probably what you would expect in in a live performance from you know. Uh, this time frame, lead band, all that kind of a big band story, I should say. Um, it is cool seeing them on the keys and bringing in those sound effects that we heard in the original. Yeah. And uh, you know, this you know, clearly he's having just the time of his life being a rock star. Like you just can kind of see that. You know, owning the stage. You know, taking yeah. his. You know, doing the performance and. Uh, a strong stage presence. Yes. Yeah. And uh, open shirt. <laughs> just, just living Hair it up. Flowing, yeah. shirt open. Yeah. Rock star mentality at the time, right? Yeah. So, um, but it's cool. It's it's very different. I think you know. I obviously from a sound perspective, so far, anyways, I, I prefer the studio version. But it's cool to see this performance aspect, and I can only imagine, you know, what it would be like to be there, to be seeing this performed. Oh yeah, like the energy and the crowd and stuff, and just the hype that everybody is there, being like, oh my god, this yeah. is the song. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And a new table door for those who stand long and the forests will echo with laughter. Does anybody remember laughter? Good news, yes sir. You die. 
so young because we saw them in the tribute yeah when they were all there and they're older mm. so you can kind of like piece together who's who from seeing them when they're old when they're young yeah i mean uh you know obviously we've got a little more uh familiar with them as a group as a whole right so uh, knowing like jimmy page right on the guitar they're just shredding it yeah like that guitar solo. solo is the most epic thing like that was my favorite part of the whole thing and that was definitely different than in the original he definitely played around and you know freestyled that one a little yeah, bit similar to fun with it. yeah similar to what we have heard from the vocal um from robert plant in the beginning right so um but i definitely noticed that in this one the difference in the beginning with his vocal and you know how soft it was and you know laid back with it and kind of setting the stage for where we were going to go with the song versus yeah his vocal at the end of it when he came in with all this power yeah, and this like yeah. you know legend like rock vocal yeah and yeah. like it was so vastly different from the beginning to the end in yeah. his sound um you I know like the whole song though like that's what happened right like the, the back third of the song i feel like just is packed with so much energy and power yeah. like i like i just love that back third so do like, i yeah <laughs> I, I just it's a you know obviously a classic song and i think that's yeah you know the, for me anyways the standout portion that i love yeah, it's all um build up yeah and you know they they build it to the to you know the, the peak and it's it's definitely the peak right like yeah they, they you're put ready it, for it yeah. when it comes yeah and um i thought the percussion really drove the sound in this one a lot more uh, than in the studio version that we listened to, which is a little bit of a difference. Um, and, you know, just generally, I I would say it was a little more muddied uh, of a sound. It wasn't, you know, didn't have these standout portions where I was like picking up on this and picking up on that. Yeah, I thought it was the mix clear. was a little more uh, muddied in, but it, it was very much enjoyable to see this legendary song performed live by them for the first time. And I think, you know, it was one of those things as well where if you were there and experiencing yeah, that and that build to that peak would have been absolutely amazing to just let that energy just go with the crowd and everything. So um, it was cool. It was different and it was still great. Yeah, for sure. And on your point of it being a little bit more muddy, I agree. But I think like you never really know what they're recording this with, like from a sound and a camera standpoint with live. Right? Mm -hmm. So like it probably sounds so different in person. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed our reaction, guys, to Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. This was long overdue, but we got there. And I uh, hope you enjoyed vibing out with us. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button for us. That always helps with our algorithm and our channel, but it helps with yours as well. So definitely recommend doing that. And uh, now you got to hit those comments to let us know where you want us to go with Led Zeppelin next. There's a lot in that catalog. What's next? What's next? Yeah, there's a lot from them in the catalog. So... Um, you know, when the levy breaks, I think was one that you guys had mentioned. Uh, a few other ones off the top of my head, I can't think of right now. But yeah, just let us know in those comments, and then you'll be sure to see it in the coming weeks. And uh, you know, I've really enjoyed the Led Zeppelin journey thus far, so I'm I'm excited to check out some more from them. That's it from us though today. We'll be back tomorrow. See you in the next one. <laughs>